Mic check, mic check. going on Huey getting ready to go live here in about a minute and a half make sure you use that hashtag monkey spaz live show use that on Facebook use that on Instagram you're gonna get entered to win yourself a silver proof dime that I'll show you right here I'm gonna win that dime that's all you got to do I'm going live in about a minute guys What is going on? Let's take a look at the chat, see where everybody's from. Those of you that are here, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, let me know where you're from. How'd you find me? All that good stuff. And uh, we got, let's see, real estate student. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Kiwi Silver said hello to you earlier from New Zealand. I love it. I love it. And Matt Lawrence, my man. Kiwi says it's 1230 in the afternoon and you're heading for a 25 Celsius temperature. Well, I'm an ignorant American and I can't do the conversion, man. What's that convert to? In Fahrenheit. You could probably you could probably do it like the snap of a finger, right? So I figured with it being the week of Christmas this week, I would do some giveaways, I'd give away some stuff. And um, yeah, one of them's gonna be this silver dime. So those of you that have participated and used the Monkey Spaz Live Show. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to get that on Facebook or Instagram. Probably another 10 minutes or so. Edgar says he shared it on Facebook with the hashtag. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. How's How you doing today, Edgar? How's everything been for you? And I know some of you guys are still on the fence, right? Still on the fence, waiting for that Bitcoin to come down before you make that decision. Got a couple things we're going to unbox here. How many of you guys have seen my videos for this company here? Maybe you can't read it. There you go. 
Anybody ever see my unboxings for these? I got two of these. I'm behind. I have two of them I got to open up here. So we'll get to that in a bit here. We're going to give away some of these challenge coins from Call of Duty, courtesy of Denim's Dives. Um, got a silver dimer given away here, Curtis of Mr. Matt Lawrence. Kiwi says it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's nice. That's nice weather. That's like perfect. We got snow on the ground here. Half dollar. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Giving away some stuff if you haven't already heard. Giving away that proof dime today. And uh, I don't know, let me just grab a fistful. I don't even know what we got over here. What's going on, Bill? How are you? With everything going on with uh, Sarasota, Florida, Silver Honda. What's up, buddy? Everything going on with Bitcoin, I got to ask. How many of you guys here have some, own some, are avoiding it? What's your take on, on the new gold, the new silver? I'm in the process right now of actually baking some cookies. Yes, Monkey Spaz bakes. California, Mr. Tito, what's going on, buddy? First time here? Welcome, welcome. How'd you find me, if you don't mind me asking? I always like knowing how uh, the new guys found me. And what do you prefer to stack, sir? Cryptos is not your thing, says Half Dollar. It's, it's not a lot of people's things, but it will be everybody's thing in the future. We will all be using it. focus here there we go that's a little bit better but I haven't really purchased any new silver recently I haven't purchased any new gold everything's been kind of put on pause because all I've been doing is um, trading like like a madman silver Honda says he bought his very first Litecoin on coinbase hopefully you used my link buddy hopefully you use my link waiting for the purchase to come in on Saturday well, if you just made the purchase, it's probably going to take about two weeks, maybe a week and a half before you actually get your crypto in your wallet. Everything is on like a crazy backlog right now. Edgar says he owns a bit. He bought it 16000 Oh, goodness gracious. Hoping it would hit 30 k Yeah, uh, I've always said for me when I got into Bitcoin, 50 k was my marker. 50 k was where I wanted it to be. And uh, I always thought it would be there by the time I hit like 50. So we got quite a bit of time for that. Matt says he's waiting a bit longer for Bitcoin. 2018 will be heavy on silver, a bit of gold, and a bit of Bitcoin. Yeah, and that's kind of what I wanted this this live one to be about, was what is everybody's goals for 2018? Because this is going to be my last one of 2017, my last show here of 2017. And I'm curious to know what everybody's goals are for 2018. Yes, I did see that Charlie Lee sold his LTC, but that guy already had so much money anyway, honestly. He probably, it was irrelevant for him selling that, and it only makes sense because he wants to run Litecoin like a business, and he has to pull his, his shares in order to run that like a business. Because he's right, when he says something positive or negative, it, it affects the market. And I think that's why we're seeing Litecoin come down the way that it is right now. It's down to like 300, probably even lower now. And that's a big part of that's because he sold off his stash. And who knows how much he had. He's the creator of the damn thing. Like, who knows how much that guy had. Imagine how much the guy who invented Bitcoin has. Satoshi Nakamoto. I put this up here last week. I'll put it up here again up on the screen. I'll pop this up there. Bit.do forward slash easy wallet is my link for Coinbase. Those of you that aren't signed up for Bitcoin, go ahead and click on that and you'll get yourself signed up. It'll get you 10 free dollars in Bitcoin. So I think the first thing we want to do here, um, we got a handful of people in. I'm going to give away a $100 gold bill right now. So the way that this works is um, my my participants list does not... Um, not no, no, I'm not going to be doing it on the 27th. That's like two days after Christmas. Um, so my participants list doesn't show me who is all in the room <clears throat> unless they comment or say something in the chat. So we're going to be giving away a gold hundred. And then we're also going to be giving away a 10 Japanese centavos from World War II. Okay. So we're giving away both of these right now. And if you want in on it, all you got to do is just say something in the chat because I'm going to be pulling the participants list here in just a minute for that. I'm not going to repeat myself on this because I know how annoying that could be. Those of you that are here now, you heard the announcement. I'll be checking that in a quick minute, and then we'll do the drawing to give that away. All right? I don't know what a loaf wallet is, Silver Honda. Sorry, buddy. 
Half Dollar's 2018 goal, stay employed, rent out your investment property, and enjoy your new tax money. Now that tax money is a joke. Uh, Monkey, got Bitcoin since our last live chat. Very cool, buddy. Very cool. I'm glad you uh, finally got on board with it. I can see it's gone down a bit, but don't panic. Bitcoin's a long-term hold. Gold, $100 bill. Count them in, please. You're in there, buddy. It's this that easy. So we're going to be giving away a couple things on this one. But I thought before we do that, I'm going to bust open one of my Scentbird packages. Those of you who have seen these before, basically what Scentbird is, is a monthly subscription box that sends me colognes that I choose every single month. And um, it's like $15 a month. It's probably the one that I love the most because who doesn't like to smell good? And I don't know how to pick colognes, so this is like an easy way for me to put, pick them. And I got two months to open up. So this is Malin and Goat's Cannabis Coin, January's Fragrance of the Month. Well, who wants that to smell like cannabis? You guys probably can't even read it. The light's washing it out. There we go. So this is uh, January's Fragrance of the Month here. Now, I got the Malin and, and Goat's. There's a rum-flavored or rum-scented one, and that was freaking awesome. That was one of my favorites. I don't know what this month's one is. I forget what I picked. But we shall see together. There we go. Ooh, I got the Versace Eros. Let's see if we can get that to focus here. If it smells like Blue Dream Woman, we'll love that because I love to smoke it. <laughs> um, there we go. Versace Eros. So those of you that are looking for like last minute gifts, um, I can actually put a link in the description bar for this, anybody that might be interested. Um, and what it'll do is it'll basically get you a free month of service. So if you do sign up for Semperd, use my link, you'll get yourself a free month. Um, let's see if I can find my link. Semperd, where are you? There we go. So I put a link in the description bar for those of you that are interested in it. Um, so that's a cool one. And I don't know what these retail for, like something like this, what it would retail for. But they say that this is a one month supply. And one month supply would be four sprays per day. Uh, I don't use that much cologne, so these last me quite a bit. Um, I have a whole stack of these things. So that's cool. I'm pumped about that. This is $14.95 per month. And like I said, this they say it's a month supply, but uh, it's definitely more than that. Uh, let's see. Silver Honda says he's in for the long term. Hopefully LTC will hit 500. Yeah, it'll hit 500 by the summer of next summer. Bitcoin Cash is a good investment. Um, my thoughts on Bitcoin Cash is simple. Um, at this point, nobody really knows. And anybody that claims that they know is completely full of it. Um, I diversify everything. I buy gold, I buy silver, I buy Bitcoin, I buy Litecoin, I buy all the different cryptos. So diversification is definitely key with any um, with any sort of investment. <clears throat> Let's see. So this one is, I think this is my most recent month of Semper. There we go. This is, yeah, Bitcoin Cash is on Coinbase. Cambridge Night was December's Cologne of the Month, but I don't remember which one I picked here. Let's see. And this one was the Gucci by Gucci Poor Home. I don't know if you can read that, but uh, let's see what this one smells like. Ooh, it smells very old man-ish. So yeah, this is like very old manish. That's what I was afraid of. With these Gucci colognes, the Gucci ones are a little, little strong. But uh, whatever. They can't all be winners, right? And this guy here, Versace. I know this one smells good. I smelled that before. 
So cool, yeah. Scentbird, check them out. I put the link in the description bar if you guys want to sign up. Fourteen ninety five a month. It makes a great gift, especially if you know somebody that smells bad. You know what I mean? We all know that somebody. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat here. Bitcoin Cash is on Coinbase. Yes, it is, and that's a lot of controversy with that because there's some insider trading going on. I'll tell you what happened with me with my Bitcoin Cash. <clears throat> I have Bitcoin Cash on another exchange because I've had a wallet for some time. So those of you that have had an old wallet, uh, basically you get equal amounts of Bitcoin Cash, uh, and your wallet should provide that for you if they you know, went along with this, the split there. But I took my Bitcoin Cash, moved it over to Coinbase because Coinbase was selling it for $9,500 a coin. I was trying to sell it. The blockchain took a little bit too slow to get in there, so I couldn't un offload it there. Uh, but I did offload it at a pretty high price. So that's the nice thing. When a new coin comes out to a new market, it always jacks up the price. Um, I have a link already in the description bar for a website called CEX. If you guys want to buy a new coin, that's a good place to go and pick them up. Stuff that's not Bitcoin, Litecoin, and things like that. Kiwi Silver. So you've had those before? Bitcoin fees are getting out of hand. So here's the thing you guys got to remember with Bitcoin. <clears throat> Bitcoin was the first. That's the first thing. And Bitcoin's not really designed to be user-to-user -user transactions. It was at one point, but now what it's designed for, I want you to think along the terms of companies that, that use cargo shipping containers and ship out millions and millions of dollars worth of merchandise, right? The blockchain and what Bitcoin's going to be used for is for transactions of that size. Bitcoin is going to have a value of something ungodly, probably a million dollars a coin. And that's going to be because the amount of product that's being transferred using that Bitcoin is going to be worth millions and millions of dollars. That's my take on Bitcoin. So you should not be spending your Bitcoin. You should be buying it and sitting on it. That's it, period. If you're trading your Bitcoin, uh, you should have a substantial amount of Bitcoin put aside already because anything you're trading is you're gambling. $100 gold night would be a gold, uh, nice addition to your star note currency. And the hype is dying. Yes, it is. BHT will prevail. BTC is the gold of crypto. Um, BH BTC is, is gold. I don't know if, if uh, Bitcoin uh, cash or Bitcoin gold will survive. Nobody really knows. But for right now, they are. And for right now, you can definitely make money. So let's do this. I've given everybody a chance here to... Uh, to speak up if they want in we're going to be giving away the gold centavo or the uh, gold hundo and the japanese centavo right now let me grab my participants list here and it's only going to copy the, the names of the people who were last active in the last five minutes here so let me copy these names on over and if you don't see your name in here now is your chance to speak up because um, like i said to be active in order for me to know you through that. So I'm adding everybody's name in here. Now you can be international. With this one here, I will ship this worldwide. <clears throat> Nick Silver's working on getting that band, huh? All right, so I got everybody's name in the list here. I don't know what's going on with my feed, if it's on a crazy lag behind. It looks like it is. Oh man, we got about, about a minute delay here, it seems. Glenn Warwick, hello, hello, hello. We are doing a giveaway, which I don't think you were here for, Glenn, but you can definitely get in on the next one if you stick around. I think we got everybody's name in here. Alright, well let's do this, Mr. Nick. I don't know if that's just fun for you, buddy. If you feel cool or whatever, but I don't care. Adios, muchachos. <clears throat> Gary, I, I think you... Yeah, I don't. I don't think you were here for the announcement of, of this one. You are in on the uh, the silver dime, though. <clears throat> you are in on that silver dime carry, so no worries there. Brock wants to know what the lunar coin is on top. This one right here. This is a privy mark. I think it's the lion privy mark. 2016 year of the monkey. 
that's the one that you were asking about. <clears throat> All right. So I think it's time now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spin this. And again, I apologize for the long delay here, guys. But good luck playing for the 10 centavos and the gold $100 bill. Here we go. And winner, winner is... Tick-tock, rate past half dollar on to Edgar Marino. Congratulations, sir. Just won a gold hundo and the 10 centavos. Send me a private message uh, or email me, preferably. I'd, I'd rather you email me. Uh, let me know your information. I'll get that sent out to you hopefully this week and maybe get to you before Christmas. So congratulations, man. Let's see what we got going on here. We got a Call of Duty challenge coin. This is not silver. It's just like a novelty piece. Anybody here interested in these guys? We're going to throw down one of these. Come on down. You're the next contestant. That's right, Glenn. <laughs> you know what's going on. All right. So let me get my trusty little notebook out here. I'm going to write Edgar's name down. Oh, shoot. Dropping stuff all over the place. Our pets' heads keep falling off. Who can name the movie that that's from? Ugh. Edgar Marino Gold Hundo and the Ten Centavo. Very cool. We'll throw that list over there. I think I have a feeling we're going to be needing that a little bit more. All right. I dribbled past you. I dribbled past you. Well, stick around and, and maybe we'll win some more. <clears throat> now, the uh, challenge coins here and these proof dimes were both sent in by, by you guys, the subscribers, you guys that follow me here. Matt Lawrence, you're in the room. I know you're... You're, uh, you're here, so I'll give you credit for this one. He used my P.O. Box information down in the description bar. He shot these over to me, and because of that, because of that, we're able to give that away today. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll combine these two. The next giveaway, well, actually, no, the next one for these proofs, that's the, uh, the Instagram and Facebook hashtag. Those of you that did that, we're going to add in a Call of Duty challenge coin, and then uh, maybe we'll add something else in there as well. <sighs> so what's everybody got as far as plans go for the holidays? Anybody going on vacation? Any big plans? These are another cool piece that I like to give away here. Constantine the Great Roman Empire coins from 330 AD. You probably would have seen Silver Wolverine's video. He just posted a video of his unboxing of these. Let's see if we can get this up close here. These are very cool coins. Now, whether or not these are authentic, I don't know. Brock wants to know what I think about Ripple. And, uh, well, I don't like to give out coin picks for the mere purpose of now, if I give out what coins I like, everybody else gets on them. And then I lose the ability to buy in very, very low. Um, Ripple for me is a very big buy right now. So I'll tell you that. I, I have a link in the description bar for CEX. Those of you that want to buy Ripple, use my link for CEX. Get yourself signed up there. But that's definitely uh, a buy. A buy and a hold for at least short term. Matt Lawrence says your comments are not showing in the chat anymore. Um, I, a couple of your comments came up as... Um, like flagged but I allowed them so I don't know why they're getting flagged it's just a lot of stuff's coming in so I can't Mick Silver I, I, I banned him because he was popping off at the mouth trying to be cool working on Christmas Day oh man what do you do for work Honda you like a police officer or something 
Tyler, those look weird to me, but MCM is great. Did anybody see the 2018 Fiji Cola caps? I did, and you know, they're, they're not priced bad, to be honest with you. Those Cola caps are priced pretty well, because think about you, when, when they put out novelty coins like that, they're going to appeal to uh, Coca-Cola collectors. So you find somebody that's a Coca-Cola collector and they stack silver, you're gonna you're gonna be able to make a nice flip out of that down the road. Um, Brock wants to know what the best exchange is to buy Bitcoin. I have a link in my description bar for that, so just go ahead and click on that, and that'll take you to my favorite exchange. I've also done some videos on that in the past if you want to check out my Bitcoin playlist there. Uh, Tyler got it since your mom loves Coca-Cola. See, exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. So people that love Coca-Cola and maybe not necessarily silver, they'll buy that coin. Silver Honda works in healthcare. Yeah, that's that's a bummer, man. So, healthcare workers, you know, public servant workers, things like that. You guys all got the, the crap coin, crap side of the coin, rather. Potcoin seems to be doing pretty good. Well, I'll tell you this about Potcoin: it's been around for a long, long time, just like Dogecoin, and neither of those coins have done much of anything. Cannabis coins, one good coin to, to look into. THC coins, another good coin to look into. But all those coins, every single one of those coins, are all short term. The short-lived gains. Yes, if you're as exactly as in the same thing. There's three different kinds. There's cannabis coin, pot coin, and THC coin. I think THC coin was first to the party, then cannabis coin, then pot coin. But um, all three of them would be okay to hold. Uh, cannabis coin, I would say more so than the th than all of them. Did I buy the Captain American Shield? No, I did not, because the price on that was insane. Oh, you said you bought it. Okay, I got you, I got you. Working Christmas Day, two to 10. Do you have kids, Kiwi? Had a BP pumping petrol. Man, they got you by the balls. Is mixed timeout over? Uh, looks like it is, buddy. But I know that's what gets you, you, you get off on those things. You, you enjoy the bands, like that's, that's what gets you excited in, in the day. So I expect to do it again soon. You're not going to surprise me. You're not going to wow me. Uh, Carrie is not enough seniority to have Christmas off, and you're a nurse too. Wow, that sucks. Verge has also been a killer the last day, but you're about to sell. Yeah, now's a good time to get out of Verge. Verge was a nice coin. It's time to get out. Um, ZEC coin is on uh, CEX. I've got a link down below for that. That's another one of my strongholds. There's only three coins that I'm holding, well, four coins that I'm holding for long term. My three main ones are going to be Bitcoin and Litecoin, obviously. I've got a lot of stock in that. But then I'm also going to be holding ZEC coin for long term. That's got a, it's got a nice portfolio to it. And then Ripple coin is my gamble coin. Um, Ripple coin, if you can get it under 75 cents, it's going to be a good buy. Uh, I was lucky to get in in like the 30 cent range. I think it's up to 80 cents now. But Ripple is going to be another long term hold. I think 2018 is going to be a good year for that. Gollum is a joke. Don't waste your see see Rock. You're you're reading into it. Sounds like from from what you're saying, you're just reading a lot of headlines, buddy. Anybody that's getting into cryptos, that's trading cryptos and reading headlines and buying into the hype and stuff, you guys are gonna get hurt. I mean, unless you're lucky, you're gonna get hurt. Gollum is a, is a joke coin. There's so many joke coins, and please God, don't anybody say Dogecoin because that's the biggest joke coin. When I mined Bitcoin and Litecoin, Dogecoin was worth probably more than what it was right now like dogecoin hasn't done anything ever so doge is a joke what's up g tours how you doing buddy we're just talking crypto right now it seems seems that's where the conversation is headed curious to know how many of you guys have one of these it's a bitcoin credit card it allows you to buy and sell when well, not um sell but i can transact using bitcoin don't really recommend it. You can see this is brand new and shiny. It's more so just to show people that they can do it. Uh, but I never like to spend my Bitcoin, especially now. I don't know how many of you guys were here the last few weeks when uh, I was doing auctions and we were doing raffles and stuff like that. Do you guys like those? Should I do more of those? What do you guys think on that? Iota, Gollum, Iota's another, see, your, your headline quoter, Brock, I love you, buddy, but you you sound like all the newbies quoting headlines. Somebody showed you a good chart, says it's going to the moon, and they have a great team behind them, and then you're all in. Just pump the brakes a little bit, man. Pump the brakes on Iota, 
Pump the brakes on Gollum. Pump the brakes on those altcoins, man. Just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Um, the water 20 smells better than Bitcoin. Yeah, but your water 20s today is going to be worth a water 20s tomorrow. My water 20s in Bitcoin today is going to be worth a couple hundred tomorrow. I said this on my last podcast, or podcast, my last live stream. I'll say it again. I bought fifty dollars of Bitcoin in 2013. That two, that fifty dollars in Bitcoin is worth over five thousand dollars right now. So no twenty dollar bill, no fifty dollar bill, no gold bar, no silver bar can come close to that. What about Dash? Dash is a good one, Tyler. Dash is another good one. Here's my here's honestly here's the way I, I grade my coins. I look at which exchanges accept them, because that's big. When an exchange accepts a coin into their their marketplace, they're saying that they basically vouch for that coin, that it's not going to go busto and, and take their customers and clients' money. So CEX is my absolute favorite uh, exchange to go to. They do have a small fee there, but it's like $0.60 cents a trade or something, and you should be trading more than that. So CEX, whatever coins they offer, pretty much I'll buy. I may not go you know head over heels in, in with it, but I will buy pretty much whatever coins CEX offers. Um, so yeah, Dash, Dash is a good one. And Edgar Marino, yes, the Bitcoin you spend is lost money in the future. If you want to laugh at some stupidity of stuff that I've done with my Bitcoin, go look at some of my old Bitcoin videos. This time last year, I took out about $200 in Bitcoin, which is worth ungodly amounts of thousands of dollars right now. But I took that out at the time to go on a, a to help pay for a little bit of a trip that I was going. I like, I always like to be able to say that when Bitcoin was, no, nobody knew what it was, that I traveled the world using Bitcoin and things like that. So I always would use a little bit of it. And and now, geez, oh man, I wish I hadn't. But lesson learned, lesson learned. Luckily, I got in early enough that I have enough stockpiled that I don't need to worry about it. Brock, I hate Ether. You are bringing up all the coins that I cannot stand that have nothing to do with what cryptocurrency was invented for. CEX, why not the biggest exchanges such as Bittrex and Binance? Well, Bittrex mainly because they're they're going to go under soon. You can't find any information about who owns uh, Bittrex. They're very reminiscent of Mt. Gox, and I know a lot of you guys don't know who Mt. Gox is. But uh, Bittrex and Mt. Gox, very, very similar. Very, very similar. I don't trust Bittrex. Binance, um, I definitely I don't have a problem with Binance. I, the problem that I do have with them is they're clunky. Um, Binance is nice. You, you can find that information on, on the company and stuff like that, but it's just clunky. Um, I'll put a link for Binance in my description as well. So give it a second here to update and you will see. This will save you money on fees if you use my link, I believe. Affiliate links are always the way to go when you're doing crypto related stuff because it's going to benefit you as well as the person you're signing up with. All right, so I just updated the description bar down below. So go ahead and look at that. Right underneath CEX, you're going to see the link for Binance. And uh, Binance is another one. CoinMarketCap website is a good place to get information as far as how quickly a coin's moving up in the world. Um, I like to see how quickly uh, on the, the top 100 list a coin moves up. Let's see. Brock Gordon's up 1500 on Ether. You're going to give me any to buy. Hey, look, just because I don't like a coin and I think it's going to eventually go bust, though, does not mean that you cannot make money off of it. I mean, I made a pretty mint right off of Bitcoin Cash here. You know what I mean? You can definitely make money on them. But when I'm talking about coins that I like, I'm talking about coins that have long term potential that I can put my money into it and not bat an eye about when it goes down. You know what I mean? When Ether goes down. Uh, yes. And Binance fees are very, very cheap when you use their coin. So that's another bonus to Binance over Bittrex. The problem, like I said, Bittrex, you don't know anything about the company. They don't tell you where they're located, who owns the company. They don't show you access to their wallets to show that they have the money in, in the account to pay out. There's just a lot of things with Bittrex that worry me. I do like how easy it is to use them. I'm not saying that I don't use Bittrex, I do, but I keep a very, very, very small amount of my money in Bittrex. The gold coin in the wooden box. This is not a gold coin. This is a, uh, I guess it's a bronze oversized penny. It's a large one cent penny. It's cool, I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. It's just something I got in a, a raffle or a giveaway on Instagram. 
Brock Gordon, I can help you out, buddy. Shoot me an email. I do one-on-ones for, for Bitcoin, crypto investing, things like that. Guys that want to learn how to get involved or get invested or what coins to buy. Um, I'm not claiming to be an expert by any means, but I have been doing it since 2013 successfully. So, uh, yeah, if you need help, man, shoot me an email, monkeyspaz at gmail.com or private message me here. And uh, we'll figure out something to help you out. Uh, let's see. Polyonex, no, I don't like those guys either. They're clunky. They're really clunky, Polyonex. I don't know what their deal is, but they're they're probably my least favorite of all of them. I did try them out for a little bit. I pulled my money right out. I, I didn't like them at all. What's going on, Mudswap? Let's see, any Libertads? I do not have any Libertads. It's actually one of the coins that I, I would like to own, Tito. I don't have any Mexican coins here. I saw they had a Chichen Itza Libertad with a sticker over top of it. It was like one of these coins here, but it had a Chichen Itza on a Libertad. Very cool. The premium was like insane. Uh, Brock, we can link. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, like I said, I do the, the group sessions. I do one-on-ones. My group sessions, uh, most of the people now seem to want to do one-on-ones as opposed to the group session because they feel like it's a waste of money when people are asking stupid questions that they know the answers to. So, if you know what you're doing with Bitcoin, you've already got some Bitcoin, 101 may be your, your way to go. First person calling SWAT. We have a seven coin proof set with a COA below 20. That's cool. I don't know how much the COA count matters, though. I can't imagine some. I mean, unless it's like one. That would be important. Carrie's typing on her little tiny smartphone. Got me trapped inside a little tiny smartphone. All right, so let's see what we got here. I guess I can put away my, my knife now. So I got a coin here I'll show you guys. This came into me from one of my viewers. And let's see if we can get the light to hit this right. Merry Christmas to you too, Jay Boog. I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on this coin. Let's see if we can get this to There we go. What do you guys think on this one? A couple of pandas. Chinese panda. To the, uh, the other side. Right? Looks nice, right? You guys like this coin, the Chinese pandas? You got your second large scent today. You're so happy. That's awesome, Peace. That's awesome, buddy. How's uh, how's your day going? My day is going pretty good. Eddie Kick says he finally made another live video. Changed your name. Uh, used to be Coin Slayer 141. That's cool, man. Awesome. Yes, Carrie. This is an example of why I will never buy pandas ever again for any reason. These pandas. Aha! Matt Lawrence figured it out. See, he's paying attention. Is that coin even real, he says? No, it's not real. It's 100% fake. It looks really good, though, doesn't it? This side looks real good. Real convincing. It looks pretty good. But it's 100% a fake. It doesn't weigh out properly, which is the, the number one way to spot the fakes. So the weight is not not accurate but how many of you guys would have been fooled by this coin I, th I bet a lot of the people would have been fooled by this coin got a couple of fakes that we're gonna be doing some videos on here let's see here these ones are good these are all good ones where's my other fakes oh there they are got some of these here So we got a Sunshine Mint. You bought a random year panda from Atmex. Well, if you're going to buy pandas, that's the place to buy them for is, is Atmex. Carrie's got a 15 and a 17 panda. Hopefully you bought them from good places and not eBay. What do you guys think on this Sunshine Mint bar, huh? Pretty nice. 
Gtours wants to know if I bought the panda knowing it was fake. I did not buy the panda. Uh, somebody that I follow posted about it and uh, I reached out to him and we made it happen. I like to do videos showing people fakes when I come across them. So if any of you guys have a fake, uh, fake anything, gold, silver, whatever, and you want to send it to me, I have a P.O. box in the description bar, but I like to do videos to teach the new people, the new, the newer guys, uh, what to look for and how to, how to spot the fakes. Um, and if you want, I can always send it back to you. I'll cover the shipping and all that's not a big deal. Silver Honda's got to get back to work. Have an awesome Christmas. I'm, I'm probably not going to talk to you before the new year, but have a great new year. Be safe. Be safe. Uh, Mudswat loves vintage one ounce bars the most. My most favorite vintage one ounce bar, hands down. This concave sitting bowl bar. Camera one. Focus. Come on. Alright, doesn't want to focus, so I'll do it manually. This sitting bowl is my favorite one. I don't know, man. It's like the detail in it is just sick. The back side of it's got a little divot for where the face pops out. You can see here, it's like 3D. So that's my favorite vintage. And I don't know if 1973 is considered vintage, but it's a 1973 bar. Let's see, Matt Lawrence was a proud owner of a German silver. Ugh, God, German silver is just complete garbage. So now we got another fake here, a Sunshine Mint bar. And I'll show you guys one of the easy ways you can spot these fakes on eBay is the case that they keep them in. You can see how this is like a square hard case. It's not how they, first of all, it's not how Silvertown sends these out. They're not gonna put a generic round or a generic bar in like such a heavy duty case. So that's the first thing that sends out. Second thing is it doesn't weigh. When you weigh it out, it doesn't weigh out right. And it clearly does not look like any Sunshine Mint bar that I've ever seen. So clearly a fake. Now, let's see. You guys have seen these Stagecoach bars, right? Stagecoach silver bars. We've got two of them here. One's clearly a fake. But they look pretty good. It looks believable. On the back side, you got your break it off and the quarter ounces. Right? Fake. Both of them. Both of them are fake. In another way, you can tell very easily the case that they're stored in. Look at the case. Very clear. These are both fakes. So we got a bunch of fakes that we're going to be doing videos on. And uh, I'm going to be doing... Uh, how many of you guys actually have your own YouTube channel? Because I'm going to be doing a video pretty soon. And I'm going to be wanting to use some, some of your guys' stuff. Not your content. But I'm going to be mentioning a few of you YouTubers. So those of you that have YouTube channels and you want to uh, get a shout out essentially for free, um, shoot me an email or shoot me a DM and let me know. And tell me what your channel's about. And... Uh, you know, we'll make it happen, Captain. So another thing I want to do real quick, pull up the price here of silver and gold. So we're looking at 16, 17 for silver, 12.65 for gold. Okay. It's not bad. Silver's slight uptick. That's good. See, G Tours all he buys now sunshine minting silver bars. You love the added security feature. Yep, those are nice. Those are nice. Turner says, is it always true that if it's not the original case, it's fake? No, that's not always true. Um, I've got some silver bars that don't have their original case. This wasn't in its original case, but I put it in a case and it's real. So that's not always true. But the case will tell you a lot about the coins make, the sizing and the dimensions. If you buy one of these pandas and it doesn't fit your regular size panda case, it's because they have a special case for it. Tyler says I can steal his content for free. YouTube's already doing it. I know, dude. It's so sick the amount of money they're stealing from us now with these whole, uh, what is it called? Where they flag all of our videos and then we have to manually go in and get them reviewed. It's such a, it's such a buzzkill. Mud Swat considers anything pre 1989 as vintage. Uh, they say 45 or 50 years is vintage. Well, that's for cars though, right? 45 or 50 years is vintage for cars. I don't know. If you ever want to know what kind of video camera I use, I don't know, dude. It's like a, I don't know the name brand. It's on the front, but it's a, like a web, it's just a regular webcam. 
go gold or go home. Yeah, I hear that. Or go Bitcoin. That's what I say. Go Bitcoin or go home. So what I want to do, it's about that time. We're going to put on some new names here. You smuggle gold. That's interesting. So, who do we got for the Monkey Spaz live show? Because now it's time to do that giveaway. It's, it always amazes me how, how small the, the prize pool is. I don't believe... Let's see. Here we go. All right. So, the first person that's getting entered here is Silver Stacking Insomnia. Insomniac. Greetings from the UK. What's up, Steven? How are you, buddy? Salivate must be jelly? I don't know what that means. Why would salivate have any... Why would he, why would he care about what I'm doing? Silver stacking insomniac. So that's our first guy. I'll just put silver... Insomniac. Because it's too big. So that's our first one. Second one, J Boog. I can always count on you. Easy peasy. Little sneezy. Carrie, got you. And finally. Three one two zero. Oh. And Jack's coins is just a little too late, buddy. I am so sorry, bud. If you're here, you missed it. The time has come and gone. And then Edgar, we got you over on Facebook, bud. Edgar. Uh, let's see. Lawrence is in attendance. Salovey doesn't have the production values. Well, he does his own thing. We all do things a little bit different. Oh, I know what jealous. I mean, I know what jelly means. Who has no values and no soul? What are you talking about? Did something happen with him that you guys are all hating on Mr. Salovey? Now, you guys see how small this, this prize pool is over here, right? One, two, three, four, five people. Five people got involved and decided to share my hashtag to spread the word about my live show. And those five people are eligible to win the Silver Proof Done. Oh, let's see. This has come a long way watching me from day one. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. You guys watched me learn and figure stuff out as I put this all together. It wasn't easy. It's definitely frustrating, but uh, what about the highly anticipated silver crypto coin we saw on Salivate? I don't know what you guys are talking about with Salivate. I don't know what I missed. Uh, I must have missed something, but... I don't have a problem with the guy. The only issue that I ever had with him was him allowing certain people to do certain things on his channel because they were paying him for it. Me and him talked about it. Everything was cool. He can run his channel however he wants. You know what I mean? Mick Silver says, my show's a little cheesy. Well, get the fuck out then. <laughs> I'm not here to please you, dude. <laughs> he thinks I care about him. I'm sorry, Mick Silver, but I, I just don't care about you, man. You can say whatever you want. I'm not going to time you out for it. But you do, you do, you're the one that's talking the most, so if you don't like it, feel free. Roll out, buddy. Go watch TV. Go watch whatever you want. You're welcome, Jay Boog. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> All right. Um, so we got our, our list of people here. Now, what I like to do, because I, I have to make sure that the people who entered in the contest, part two of the rules where they have to be with me live right now. So I need you guys to sound off. Silver, uh, Silver Sacking Insomniac, J Boog, Carries, Zapian, and Edgar Marino. I just need you guys to sound off for me. Edgar, I see you're in here already. 
Jay Boog, I see you're in here already. Uh, Carrie, you still in here? <laughs> yeah, go watch Rick and Morty. Here, here's some Rick and Morty stickers for you. Is this, is this what you come to watch? Rick and Morty dancing around the screen? I don't care. All right, so Carrie's here. Jay Boog's here. Edgar's here. We need... We need um, Zapien3120 and Silver Sackling Insomniac. I mean, I don't know how exciting and entertaining you expect me to make this B mix silver because if all I did was giveaways, I'd have no money. You know what I mean? I can't keep giving stuff away all the time. And you got my hand, so I don't know what to tell you there. It can't, it can't be more exciting when you're looking at my hand. That's what my channel does. So I don't know if you're new to my channel, this is what I do. Um, powder Puff Girls. Is that even a thing? I thought it was Powder Puff. Is it power? Like, oh, y'all. Mix Silver, which one are you? Are you Zepian? Looking for a Zepian and Silver Stacking Insomniac. If those guys aren't here, last call. We're going to remove you from the list and draw. It's going to get down. We're going to shorten up the pool. He promoted a crypto coin that was pegged to the silver spot price, meaning if you let a third party hold your... All right, listen. I'm just going to say this about crypto coins. If you're taking advice from somebody that either hasn't even touched crypto coins or only got involved in crypto coins so much as this year, you're taking advice from the wrong person. Um, if somebody's learning crypto themselves and asking questions themselves right now, that is not the person you should be taking advice from when it comes to cryptocurrency. Uh, so Zapien's here, and then we're looking for Silver Stacking Insomniac. And if you are here, we can go ahead and fire this thing off. Everybody's here except for Silver Stacking Insomniac. He's going to be pissed. Pissed. I'm going to give him one more, one more second here. Take a sip of my beverage. Anyone goes to YouTube for a... I don't know. I don't know. You guys speak English, bro. What's up, Tyler? Silver Monkey. All right. Here's what we're doing. Silver Sacking Insomniac, you are coming off of the list because you haven't checked in, and that was part of the rules. So now we have a list of one, two, three, four people. Four people are in. So Zapian, Edgar Morin, Carries, and Jay Boog. Tito, you said you're Zapian, right? Yeah, I got you. You're good. And um, Jay Boog. You're good. All right, so here we go. One in four chance, guys, to win a silver proof dime. This is coming to us courtesy of Mr. Matt Lawrence. He used the P.O. Box address down below. Helped me out by helping you guys out, and that's why we're able to do this. So I'm also going to throw in a Call of Duty Black Ops coin as well. This is not silver. It's just a novelty coin. You may not be into Call of Duty. You may not be into, you know, video games. It's Christmas time. I'm sure you have a nephew or somebody you can give it away to. But that's what we're playing for. Those guys that followed the rules... Good luck to you. Here we go. One in four chance. You all got good chances here. And I just want you to email me or DM me. You'll preferably email me your information, and I'll get everything here sent out this week. Hopefully get to you before Christmas. And our winner. Looks like it might be Mr. Zapien. Bam! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mr. Zapian, Zapian, however you say it, you, sir, have just won yourself a silver-proof dime. You won yourself the Call of Duty Black Ops coin. All I need is an address. I'll have it all sent out to you, man. Congratulations. Thanks for hanging out with me, too, man. I'm going to add you over on my list. Cool. All right, so I got you down. All I know is this mixed silver guy is bored. I don't know if you just don't go out a lot, or if you just like making yourself giggle, but you got some serious problems, homie. <laughs> DM me through Instagram. Per that works, man. That that's perfect. You in the just just out of curiosity, are you in the U.S.? I always forget to mention that. Shipping charges are just insane these days. 
Uh, Call of Duty Challenge Coin. Does the military actually award that challenge coin? I don't know. I got a fistful of them from Dano's Dive, so... I don't think we got very many video game fans here, but it's a coin, so we'll give it away. It's all about coins. Bitcoin, light coin, gold coin, silver coin. Merry Christmas to you, too. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, let's see, we got, if we can get this room count here up to, let's say, 25, we'll give away something else. But we're, in order to do that, we need everybody to click that like button. So mash the like button right down below. I know what's his face. Um, he's going to mash the thumbs down button. He, he probably already did it, but <laughs> I know you're kind. All right, so we did go over some of the uh, crypto stuff, answer some of you guys' questions on the crypto stuff. Shed a little bit of the silver. Like I said, I haven't been buying much silver, but 2018 is going to be the year of what I'm going to cons call consolidating. I'm going to be consolidating some things, repositioning re all of my positions now. Um, and that's something I think I'm going to start doing on a yearly basis, reposition myself, because things change. Tyler says, good night, everyone. See you later. Hopefully, stop paying COD when you can jump in outer space. Yeah, dude, I'm the same way. When people started glitching and cheating, I was out of there. I'm starting to think that Mick Silver is just a bot. I don't even think it's a real person. Very bored. Well, there's always, if you look at all of my videos, there's always one or two thumbs down. Like, I'll get tons of thumbs up, but I'll get one or two thumbs down. <laughs> And it's, I know it's, what's funny is I know it's the same person and I love the fact that they keep coming back and watching my videos. I love the fact that they do that because even when they thumbs down my video, they still paid me money. You know what I mean? So you still lose for thumbs downing me. Smash that dislike. That's cute. And Shabao. All right, so we're coming up on 7:30. I think it's about time we wrap this up. Can't seem to get this uh, to pop off the way that I'd like lately. I guess the holidays has kind of got everybody tied up and a little bit busy. But I'm gonna get myself over to the oven and start baking some cookies. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check in on my crypto, make sure my positions are so good, and I'm going to roll out. Platinum, I think uh, 2018 is going to be the year for gold. It's going to be the year for Litecoin, not so much Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to be in a huge correction. It's going to be a lot of volatility. Like, you think this year was crazy with Bitcoin? Next year is going to be even crazier. Um, so it's going to be the year of Litecoin. It's going to be the year of Ripple. Shh, I didn't tell you that. And it's going to be the year of ZEC coin. Uh, silver is probably going to... I don't think silver is going to do much this year, but gold we're going to see some movement from. And that, my friends, is pretty much all I got for you. Um, I'm not going to be back here live next week because it's two days after Christmas. So I will be back on January 3rd. And I'm going to have an announcement. For those of you that use the uh, Super Chat, you can see the names scrolling up top here. Um, those of you that have used the Super Chat or those of you that have utilized the P.O. Box and sent me maybe something like a coin here to give away on the channel, anybody that's contributed to my channel in any way to help me grow, I'm going to give back to you guys. And that announcement's going to be made on January 3rd, live right here. Um, Let's walk out his first Bitcoin two days ago. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. And you can see that it went down in price, though. So that's a bummer. But hold it. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Like, hold it. You know what I mean? I've been holding since 2013. Hold it for that long. Don't worry about if the price doesn't come up for six or seven months. Don't worry if it takes a year for the price to come out. I'm expecting, my, if I had a bet, I'm going to bet that Bitcoin's going to drop under $10,000. I said it before it even hit $10,000. That it would correct back to around $2,500 a coin. But regardless of where it corrects to, I think it's going to stay there for a long time. 
for six months or so. It's gonna be trading at a very low level for a very long time, and then it's gonna rock it up again. We're gonna get that second surge. That's my, my thoughts on Bitcoin. Um, those of you that are trading Bitcoin, use my links down below to sign up. It'll save you some money on fees. And always trade, when you are trading, trade in BTC. Don't trade USD because you're kind of losing money there. Always trade in depreciating assets. Merry Christmas to all of you guys as well. Um, everybody have a safe new year. Don't drink and drive. Use Uber. Call Lyft. Call a friend. Drinking and driving is not cool. So just don't do it. <laughs> all right, guys. That's it for me. I will talk to you again real soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, everybody, have a safe new year. Peace out, everybody.